Well, today, before I eat my apricots, I wanted to make a sketch page out of it. And so let's begin. So apricots are somewhat circular and maybe a little bit heart shape on the top. And just draw a shape of a oval or a circle and go from there. Every ap apricot is different. So keep in mind, these are just sketches and we are going for an indication of what something looks like here. So now I'm moving on to painting with the watercolor and a light wash, a very watered down light wash of yellow goes down first. While the yellow wash is still wet, dab in some red or orange color, very watered down. It's a red, red and orange mix together. Very watered down just to put as shadows. Uh, don't fill in the whole apricot, just along the edges or along the bottom where you can see shadows. Beneath the apricot, I just take a mixture of colors that are left on my palette, mix it together, and I create a shadow out of that. I also have a bag of butternut squash chips, tortilla chips, and some hummus. So here, the hummus container is rectangular. Another rectangular shape on the inside for the edging and also for the label on it. Draw in the wording and some shapes. You don't, nothing has to be perfect. Just whatever your eye sees as the main part of the label or the container is what you draw. Bring it down to make it 3D. And now it's another rectangular shape up and down for the bag of tortilla chips. And just draw in shapes as you see them. Just, I'm not doing any perfect lettering. I'm just writing in some letters. The bigger letters, I will try to make a little bit more like what is on the package, but it doesn't matter if it's a little bit wonky looking or up and down because the package is indented and curving. So very easy to do a package of chips or a bag of something because it doesn't have to be perfect because it is not perfect. It is wobbly looking. So filling in some other lines here. And now I am starting to fill in the watercolor wash. And I wet the paper and dab in colors where you see the blues or the oranges. I started with yellow and while it was still wet, I dabbed in some orange. But when you are using like the blue, uh, I. I think I put that down on dry paper rather than wet the paper first. Here I am painting one section at a time on the package because I don't want the colors to bleed into each other. On the smaller sections, like the tortilla chip that I'm painting right here, I am dabbing in some darker color as a shadow. And you can see I'm applying a light wash right now and then dabbing in some darker pigment so that it looks like it's waving and wobbly and it's not all solid. Continuing to fill in these sections with color and I'm just applying the watercolor pigment to dry paper. And then I will be able to fill in smaller sections without it bleeding. So filling in the green and it's really coming to life with each layer. And this should be applied dry because you don't want it to bleed to the dry paper. and. Um, adding in some shadows on the packaging where it's crumpled and indented. And working around the bag of tortilla chips and adding another layer of paint to the lettering. And then a shadow underneath. I just mix together whatever's on my palette and I create shadows out of that color. And then put a darker line right under the bag and under the, the container of hummus. So this is one more way to fill in a sketchbook page. So before you eat dinner, your lunch or a snack, place it on a table and give it a sketch. I thank all of you so much for watching and I love you all and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.